Hey guys, this is my Melina from Mortal Kombat makeup thing. Uh, yeah, I realized I wasn't recording when I put on the other prosthetics, and here we are. So I am using Telesis 8, the adhesive and the modifier, to apply these pieces onto my face. So what you would do is at, put the adhesive on the prosthetic itself, of course, and put a little bit on your face, give it a bit of time so the adhesive stays, gets a little tacky, then you adhere. Once that's adhered, as you can see here, I am just going right along the edges to make sure the entire thing is fully down. So once everything is down, I use some cobble patch that I kind of made myself and I run it along the edges to smooth it out. The, these prosthetics I made, the edges came out a little bit thicker than they're supposed to be so I kind of had to use a little bit more cobble patch to really just smooth out the edges so it didn't look like I obviously stuck something to my face. slowly work your way around the prosthetic, you know, seaming all your edges, making it look all nice and cohesive, yeah. Also, these prosthetics, um, I hand sculpted myself and ran them through foam latex. I have another video uh, showing how I made that. Once you have all your edges down and you know uh, patched up and everything, take a little bit of kind of close to skin color not too much um, from my skin illustrator palette and I just kind of dab around like the, the the top and bottom edges of the prosthetic just to kind of give it that skin tone color to make it look obviously like it's coming out of my skin. go in with a slightly pinkish color again because if this is bursting out of your skin there's gonna be a lot of blood there so just kind of go over that with another layer Once I get those, those first two, three layers down, as I let it kind of settle and dry, I go in with regular straight makeup foundation and apply that to the other parts of my face that are not covered in prosthetic. So then I go in, I think this is my effects palette, um, and I go in and I add, again, a little bit more reddish pink tones again because for like the gums and everything and I kind of go in with that added detail again because you want it to look like these things are coming out of your face. And 
just keep blending, keep blending. Again, this is just to make it look... The, this is the realistic part of it, to be like, oh yeah, this is supposed to look like my skin. It, I have teeth that come out the side of my face, because why not? Here I'm going in with a kind of, I think, bruise tone or something, or blood tone, I forgot which one. Um, and this is where I'm adding the kind of blood effect to, you know, the teeth coming out of my cheeks kind of thing. You know, again, just to kind of give it a bit of realism, where if I literally had teeth coming out of the side of my face, kind of how it would look. Oh yeah, so now I'm actually using like a blood color, just so it's just drip all right there at the, the gum line, all kind of semi-dripping out. So now I'm taking this bruise tone and just stippling all in the middle gaps and and a little bit close to the front and mostly around the back of the teeth. Uh, this will kind of help create depth like my jaw, like when I do the mouth open screen face, like my jaw is actually open, it's actually connected and that's the inside of my cheeks. To it. I think this is more actually like a, a mixture of a bruise tone with a bit of blue so again to create more depth to it to kind of give it that like you know that yes my side of my face is actually ripped open <laughs> and these teeth are coming out. So then after that, I um, put on my lenses. These are Darth Maul lenses, actually, um, that I got from exoticlenses.com. Um, well, I bought them in person at some convention, but of course, as always, all links are down below. And now I'm going on to the straight makeup. So I put on my uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Um, I think this one is in Eden. I think that's the one I like using because um, it's kind of around my skin tone and it also makes my uh, eyeshadows like extra vibrant when I apply them compared to the, the one that's just like the original one that's just like plain white that dries clear. start applying um, I think this is 2 a.m. by sugar pill and apply that all on my lid the same brush and apply that to the outer third of my uh, lower lid. The next um, I take uh, Hotsy Totsy and put that on the like outer half of the top of my lid right above the crease. On the inside, I use um, Kitten Parade, and I put that on the inner half of uh, my eyes, again, uh, on, above the crease. And again, I use the same brushes without adding any more extra eyeshadow and putting it on the lower lid. And there's Paul. Hey. <laughs> 
So after that, the eyes are pretty simple. I use my NYX um, eyebrow gel in ebony and I do my bitch ass eyebrows. And yeah, so pretty much that is the makeup part of it. It was tons of fun. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking of actually running a batch of these prosthetics. Uh, if anyone wants to buy some, just let me know. Here is me um, taking off the prosthetic after a day. So the previous was recorded actually on the Sunday of the convention, so it was the second day we wore the costume. And here is actually after Saturday, after the first day we wore it. So you take your Ben Ben I um, bond off and you put it along the edges um, to kind of um, you know get the adhesive loose. I take my spatula that I had used previously to apply my cobble patch and I kind of start kind of like pushing and digging and getting kind of like like an opening um, to kind of start taking the thing apart. Yeah, so then I have a brush here that is dipped in the bond off and I'm just working my way under and just slowly but surely working around and like, you know, loosening up the adhesive. The telesis is very strong uh, with the combination of the cobble patch, so this was stuck on my face all day perfectly. I was sweating, nothing was coming loose, it was great. Also it was on my cheek, so I don't really sweat there. If it was on my nose or my chin or something, I would have been kinda screwed. Yeah, so here I'm just using the bond off and just getting any excess little uh, like latex or cobble patch off just kind of working around in like a circular motion just kind of like getting all the excess bits off of my face. So with like a baby wipe or a towel, um, I use this Wonder Fluid 244 Fluid Makeup Remover and I go in and I just kind of, you know, wipe off any excess makeup that is on my face. Once that is completely off, I also then use that makeup eraser and just kind of wiping off the makeup remover as well, any excess oils. I 
and then I go with this kind of magic cream over my face and because you'll feel some drying on your cheeks for a bit. I also didn't take off the makeup on my eyes and above to my forehead because like I took off this makeup so we're able to like go to dinner so I didn't want to go totally you know makeupless. But yeah once that's on you're good and for you know a couple days you might feel a couple dry patches on your cheeks but you're good as long as you moisturize you should be fine. And yeah, so that was my Melina Mortal Kombat makeup. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know how you feel, all that fun stuff.